man. You doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. You putting in that work. Proud of you. I love you. Yeah. Yeah, I like when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, when you put my bag daddy, in, I like when you when you right scrambling here, right and scraping. No, 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 I, got I no like that. Shit. You know, I'll be practicing. I got yeah. to. That's his wife. Yes, he's an older guy. He might be a whole lot of fruity too. But Cassie would know that, just like Kim knew that. I think he's brother love. He love other men. Did you miss me though? Mm. For real, man. But I'm talking about you. for your birthday. Huh? Why won't you party with me for your birthday, man? I'm, I, yeah, we we party for my birthday before. You came to my party. And, mm. No, but me and you ain't never really party. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Eyes, eyes, bro. eyes, eyes, brother. Oh, man. Eyes, 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 eyes. 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 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dallas, play whatever you want to play, baby. Just looking at my beautiful son. Boy, you's a, you's a beautiful <laughs> black king. In this video, I'll be exposing Cassie and Diddy because Cassie recently sued P. Diddy for $30 million. And I bring up the number amount because as you guys know, every ritual that they do, is scripted by the numbers so i'll get into the scripting of this entire situation at the end of the video first thing i want to talk about is cassie and her other character so as you can clearly see it is extremely obvious that zendaya is based off of cassie as you guys can see they even have the same smile it's crazy how much they look alike right here and shout out to divine Sade for making a video about this and it's crazy because when she made this video almost two years ago cassie was not in the media and now all of a sudden she sues P Diddy and she's all over the media. So this entire situation is definitely damage control to her videos because she exposed Cassie and Diddy. So here's some more comparisons of Cassie and Zendaya. These two characters look extremely similar and you can see the resemblance a lot more when you look at younger pictures of Cassie and Zendaya, especially Zendaya, man. When she was younger, she really looked a lot like Cassie. And Zendaya is one of those Disney Channel characters that they created. I recommend you guys go watch my video on Patreon about Disney because I exposed how Disney makes their characters. And I also exposed the subliminal messages in Disney and all cartoons in general. So I highly recommend you guys go watch that video on my Patreon. The link is in the description. So here's some more side-by-side -side comparisons of Cassie and Zendaya. And not only do these two characters look exactly alike, but they also have the same gematria and their birthdays are extremely close together. So Cassie's birthday is August 26th and Zendaya's birthday is September 1st. So their birthdays are only six days apart. That's definitely not a coincidence. You know, what are the chances that they look exactly alike and their birthdays are only six days apart? And on top of that, they're even the same zodiac sign. As you can see, Cassie's a Virgo. And Zendaya is also a Virgo. And they let us know in plain sight every time. I mean, Cassie literally follows Zendaya on Instagram. And Zendaya follows Cassie. Do you guys really think that's a coincidence? You know, why would these two characters even follow each other? Another connection is the fact that Cassie and Zendaya have a similar career. As you can see, Cassie is a singer and an actress. And Zendaya is an actress and a singer. One of Zendaya's biggest shows is Euphoria. And in Euphoria... There's a character called Cassie. As you guys can see, Zendaya and Cassie are the first two characters that they listed in the cast of Euphoria. So they're telling you in plain sight that Cassie is Zendaya. There's so many clues that they leave in plain sight. Now let's get into the Gematria connections. So Cassie's real name is Cassandra Elizabeth Ventura. And Zendaya's real name is Zendaya Marie Stormer Coleman. Both of their first names are Zendaya and Cassandra. Both of their first names have the same gematria of 31. And their last names are Coleman and Ventura, which also share the same gematria of 28. Also, it's interesting how both of their last names are seven letters. Now let's take a look at their full names because their full names also have the same gematria. So Zendaya's full name equals 398 and Cassie's full name equals 398 as well. And then Zendaya's full name is 336 and Cassie's full name is 336 in the same cipher. So there's just too many connections between these two characters. If you don't see it by now, I don't know what to tell you. 
because in this comparison right here, I literally can't tell them apart in this comparison because of how obvious it is that these two are the same. So Cassie was born on August 26, 1986, and Zendaya was born on September 1st, 1996, which was exactly 120 months later. And as you can see, Illuminati and Satanism both equal 120 in Gematria, and Cassie did this weird photo shoot with a bunch of black and white symbolism. And they made articles about it and they said that Cassie channeled the Illuminati for Idol magazine. So she channeled the Illuminati and Illuminati equals 120 and Cassie and Zendaya are exactly 120 months apart. So that's an interesting connection and I'm not surprised she's connected to the Illuminati considering how much symbolism she does in plain sight. Right here she's covering one eye and then right here she's covering one eye on her album covers and in multiple other pictures. You know, a lot of times when it's a female character, they do one eye symbolism by covering one eye with their hair so that you think it's just a coincidence, but it's not a coincidence. Everything they do is purposely done. Here she is doing some more hand symbolism in plain sight. And right here she's covering one eye for this magazine. And right here she's covering one eye while promoting a product. So this shows that these products they're promoting are not good for you because why do they have to promote it in a deceptive way. And here's a good comparison of Zendaya and Cassie. And notice how they're both doing one eye symbolism in these two pictures. Considering that Cassie has so many pictures doing one eye symbolism, I'm not surprised that Zendaya also has many pictures doing this same symbolism. Here's three pictures where she's covering one eye. Even on the cover for Euphoria, which is one of her biggest shows, she's literally doing one eye symbolism in plain sight on the cover. And this show is very disgusting, by the way. It pushes many agendas, so I wouldn't recommend watching this show at all. And it's called Euphoria for a reason, because if you know what Euphoria is, Euphoria is a form of dopamine. So this is why this show has so many disgusting and shocking things to trigger the dopamine in your brain and get you addicted. I talked about that in my Disney video on Patreon. I recommend you guys go check that out. Here's two more pictures of Zendaya doing one-eye symbolism along with his hand gesture. And here we see Cassie doing one-eye symbolism along with Diddy. And he's also doing that same hand gesture. Here we see Diddy doing one-eye symbolism as well. Another connection between Zendaya and Cassie is the celebrities that they have pictures with. So right here we see Cassie is with Lil' Kim. And right here we see that Zendaya is also with Lil' Kim. And then Zendaya has this picture with Kiki Palmer. And Cassie has also been with Kiki Palmer in the past. And apparently they also kissed on camera, which is a big agenda that female celebrities push. Another big connection is this picture right here. So Zendaya has this picture with Quincy Brown. And right here we see Cassie with Quincy Brown as well. And in case you guys didn't know, Quincy Brown is Diddy's stepson that he adopted apparently. So the fact that Zendaya has this picture with Quincy Brown is a huge connection considering that Quincy Brown is Diddy's son and Cassie dated Diddy for 10 years. And notice how she's doing black and white symbolism along with the one eye symbolism in this picture. Now let's talk about Diddy and his other characters on the world stage. So I've already exposed Diddy in the past. So I'll get through this one real quick, but I do want to add in a few more things that I found that prove that Kai Sinat is one of Diddy's characters. So first, let's take a look at the side by side comparisons that I made. And as you guys can see, it is extremely obvious that Kai Sinat's character is based off of Diddy. I mean, they look exactly alike right here. This is why I chose this picture for the thumbnail. I recommend you guys watch my original video about this topic. I'll put a link to that video in the description. And I also recommend you guys watch Divine Sade's videos on this topic because Kai Sinat actually responded and reacted to her video in one of his live streams. And Duke Dennis also responded. So you guys can go check out her videos. I'll put a link to those videos in the description as well. Here's some more comparisons of Diddy and Kai Sinat. And again, it's just really obvious that these two characters look alike. You know, they literally have the same eyes and the same mouth and the same face overall. Also notice how they're both wearing a New York hat in these two pictures. They also have the same mannerisms. Right here you can see that they're both rubbing their hands in a similar way. Now let's get into the Gematria connections because not only do these two characters look exactly alike, but they also share the same Gematria. So I always bring this up because this is the nail in the coffin. Like they say, women lie, men lie, but numbers don't. 
So there's no way to deny the evidence being shown. You know, they look exactly alike. There's so many connections and even their names have the same value in Gematria. So both of their stage names are Kaisenat and Diddy, right? Kaisenat and Diddy both equal 28 in the reduction cipher and they also share the same gematria in two other ciphers as you can see diddy and kaisenat both equal 46 and 64 and 64 is 46 reversed and then they both equal 25 in the same cipher as well so the fact that both of their stage names have the same gematria in three ciphers should show you that there's some type of connection here even their real names have the same gematria so diddy's real name is sean john combs diddy's real name is sean combs which equals 152 and Kaisenat's real name is actually Kaisenat which also equals 152 in the same cipher as well and again both of these characters real names have the same gematria in three ciphers even their first names alone have the same gematria as you can see Kai and Sean both equal 12 and 24 in the same ciphers and then their last names are Combs and Sinat which also share the same gematria of 16 and 29. Another connection is the fact that both of their last names start with the letter C and they're both five letters as well. Now let's get into their birthdays because even their birthdays have the same numerology. So Diddy's birthday is November 4th, 1969, which has a numerology of 31. And then Kaisenat was born on December 16th, 2001, which also has a date numerology of 31 so when you add up three and one you get four which means both of these characters share the same life path number of four so at this point no one should be denying this anyone who denies this at this point is just way too attached to celebrities and the matrix in general because all the proof is right in your face i mean these two characters look exactly alike their stage names have the same gematria the numerology of their birthdays is the same they have the same life path number and they're both rappers as well. Even though Kai Sinat is mainly a streamer. But lately he's been rapping too. So that's definitely another connection. Now let's talk about the number 32. Because Kai Sinat was born 32 years after Diddy. And this was scripted because Kai Sinat equals 32 in Gematria. So they purposely created his character 32 years later with this name. And then we see that their birthdays are only one month apart. Because Diddy's birthday is November 4th. And Kai Sinat's birthday is December 16th, which means their birthdays are only 42 days apart. And Puff Daddy equals 42 in Gematria. And Puff Daddy is one of Diddy's stage names. So again, their birthdays are purposely 42 days apart. And Puff Daddy was purposely his name. And I also noticed that Puff Daddy and Freemason have the same Gematria of 42 in the same cipher. Another huge connection is the fact that Diddy follows Kai Sinat on Instagram. Just like how Zendaya follows Cassie and Cassie follows Zendaya. A lot of times characters follow their other characters on social media to give us a little hint of who their other characters are. Another huge connection is the fact that Diddy and Kai were both born in New York, New York. So that means they were both born in the state New York and in the city of New York. Another connection is Nicki Minaj. In case you guys didn't know, he featured her on one of his songs. And this is a big connection because recently Kai Sinat went live with Nicki Minaj on Instagram, which makes no sense from a world stage perspective. Because why would Nicki Minaj be interacting with a live streamer? And they have two totally different fan bases. But the reason they did this is because it's a connection to his other character, which is P. Diddy. And I noticed that Diddy was wearing a mask in the music video that he did with Nicki Minaj. And I'm not sure if it's a mask or if he's just covering his mouth with something. But either way, this is still predictive programming because this video came out like 10 years before people started wearing a mask. Another connection is Drake. As you can see, Diddy has many pictures with Drake. And recently, Drake took a picture with Kai Sinat, which again makes no sense because Kai Sinat is a live streamer and he just came out. And Drake is a huge artist. So this goes back to what I was saying in my Glorilla and Sexy Red video. I pointed out how they keep using big characters like Drake and Nicki Minaj and Cardi B to collab with these new characters that they're trying to promote so that they can make these characters famous way faster. So that right there should prove to everyone that these new celebrities are not real. Another connection is Donald. As you can see, Diddy has a couple pictures with Donald. And this is a big connection because the media was comparing Kaisenat's riot to Donald's riot. 
If you guys remember, back in 2020, Donald got in trouble for the riot that happened in the Capitol. And what's crazy about this situation is I actually predicted this situation months before it happened. And I made a video showing the videos that prove this situation was staged because the cops were literally letting people in. So most of the people you guys saw in those videos were crisis actors and they were purposely led in by the cops. And I showed that video in this video and they removed my video. So if you guys want to see my prediction and the videos that prove this situation was staged and scripted, go subscribe to my Patreon. The video is on there. You know, they deleted it from my YouTube channel. So I had to re-upload it on my Patreon. The link is in the description. Also, if you guys want to watch my video about Donald, I'll put a link to that video in the description as well. Now let's get into the biggest connection of them all. Right here, Kai Sinat literally put it directly in our face that he is Diddy and that Zendaya is Cassie. So Kai Sinat did this live stream where he FaceTimed celebrities with a Zendaya lookalike. And this character looks so much like Zendaya. It literally is one of her characters as well. They love making these little look-alike characters who are barely famous. And even though they're not that famous, they're still one of their characters. So for example, this look-alike is still one of Zendaya's characters. So don't think that these little look-alikes that they promote on social media are actual real people because even the look-alikes are fake. But anyways, this is a huge connection because like I showed you guys earlier, Zendaya is based off of Cassie and Cassie dated Diddy for over 10 years. And to most people, they might think it's random that Kai Sinat just collabed with this random Zendaya lookalike. But when you understand their characters and you understand that they have to tell you the truth in plain sight, then you will understand why they collab with certain people. You know, he purposely collabed with this character because her other character is his other character's ex-girlfriend who is currently suing him. And what's ironic about this is that Kai did this live stream a few months ago. So that means these two situations were around the same time. Now let's talk about this disgusting case and how it's all scripted. So Cassie is accusing P. Diddy of these disgusting things that I cannot say, but you guys can see for yourself. And this is all an agenda. This is all deception. His real name is Sean Combs. And Sean Combs has the same gematria as deception. They both equal 91 and 152. So this character was literally created to deceive. So that's exactly what he's doing with this case. And if you notice, even Kai Sinat matches up with Deception as well in two ciphers. This whole situation was scripted because Diddy's birthday just passed on November 4th, right? And then Cassie sues him 12 days later on November 16th. So do you guys really think it's a coincidence that he gets sued 12 days after his birthday and another connection is the fact that he was sued on november 16th and kai's birthday is on december 16th now let's talk about the number 19 because cassie dated diddy when she was 19 and he was 37 so that's very disgusting as well the fact that he was 18 years older than cassie basically double her age you know 19 still has the word teen inside of it for a reason because you're still very young when you're under 21. So they started dating when she was 19 and this is scripted because 19 reversed is 91 and Sean Combs equals 91 just like Deception. Now let's talk about this 30 million dollars that they keep putting out in the media. Every time there's a number that they're flashing in the media they're putting it there for a reason because it's all scripted. So Cassie sued Diddy for 30 million dollars and scripted equals 30, and Puffy equals 30, and Puffy is one of Diddy's nicknames. Then we see that the numerology of Cassie's birthday is also 30. This shows me that people are not looking deep into anything. They're just believing everything they see in the media, because if people knew about this, they would be questioning what are the odds she sues him for $30 million, and the numerology of her birthday is 30, along with Puffy and scripted having the value of 30 in Gematria, now let's talk about the number 54 because Diddy is currently 54 years old at the time of this case. Staged equals 54 and Cassie equals 54 in the same cipher. So he's getting sued by Cassie at age 54 and Cassie equals 54. And even her real name Cassandra Ventura also equals 54. Freemasonic is 54, Jesuit Order and Devil Horns all equal 54 in the same cipher. 
as Cassie's real name. And I'm not surprised that Devil Horns matches up with Cassie because Cassie has many pictures doing the horns symbolism. And I also noticed that scandal equals 54 and this whole situation is a scandal and then bad luck equals 54. And if you think about it, Diddy is basically getting bad luck and then code red also equals 54. And I found that interesting because if you look at Diddy's profile picture right now, it's a picture of him sitting down on a red couch with a red background and a red carpet and he's wearing all red. So do you guys really think it's a coincidence? He gets sued two weeks after his 54th birthday and then code red equals 54 and he's wearing all red in his profile picture right now. And red is the root chakra, which is the lowest chakra. So they want to keep everybody at the lowest vibration. And then another connection with number 54 is the fact that his other character, Kai Sinat's real name, equals 54 in Gematria. Now let's talk about the number 69. So Diddy was born in 1969, right? And his real name, Sean John Combs, is 69. The NWO is 69 and Illuminati is 69 all in the same cipher and I noticed that Diddy's birthday is November 4th in 1969 and Cassie's birthday is August 26, 1986 which means they're exactly 201 months apart and the Freemasonic Order, Order of Illuminati and the Jesuit Order all equal 201 in Gematria. So Diddy got sued over a lustful situation right and six days later Jamie Foxx also gets sued for another lustful situation. So don't you guys find that weird that these two characters are getting sued for the same type of situation six days apart? If you guys want to watch my videos about Jamie Foxx, the link will be in the description. Now let's talk about Diddy's base character. As you can see, Aaron Hall looks exactly like Diddy because Aaron Hall is their base character. I talked about this a year ago in my Diddy and Kaisenat video. And right now they're doing damage control to my video because apparently Diddy is also being sued for a totally different situation that he did with Aaron Hall in the 1990s. So don't you guys find this entire thing weird? You know, I make this video exposing Diddy and Kai Sinet and I expose how their base character is Aaron Hall. And then one year later, Diddy is getting sued for a situation that he did with Aaron Hall in the 90s. And it's a really nasty situation. Apparently, they're claiming that Diddy and Aaron Hall took turns rapping a woman. You know, I can't say the actual word, but you guys can see it on the screen. And this lawsuit happened on November 24th. So don't you guys find it strange that Diddy got sued three times within eight days? Here's another really good comparison of Aaron Hall and P. Diddy. And here's a comparison of Aaron Hall and Kai Sinat. And it's funny because Aaron Hall was bald and Kai Sinat wore a bald cap at one point so that was definitely a reference to his base character and then Diddy basically went bald at one point as well because he had this mohawk which is just a small bit of hair and the rest of his head was bald and I found this video of Kai Sinat when he was a child and he looks exactly like Aaron Hall check this out Siri shut up Kai shut the f up you thought ass you get no Every time you go to school, everyone look at your feet and say, what the f*** are those? So don't even test me. Kai would really only have one goal since the time he hit middle school, to earn 1 million subscribers on YouTube and become as famous as all those entertainers that he loved to watch on his computer screen. So here's some comparisons of Kai when he was a kid and Aaron Hall because they look exactly alike. And you can tell I'm right about this because... Not only do they look exactly alike, but the fact that they had to bring Aaron Hall into this situation with Diddy one year after I exposed them. And they're all connected in Gematria as well. As you can see, all of their real names have the same Gematria of 53 in the same cipher. And on top of that, Aaron Hall was born in the Bronx, New York. And Kai Sinat also grew up in the Bronx in New York. So both of these characters are directly from the same neighborhood and the same city. And Diddy is also from New York. So all three of these characters are from New York. And now let's get into the fourth character, which is 5 year Foreign, because he's also from New York. And as you guys can see, he looks a lot like Diddy as well. 
I talked about this in my video about 5 year foreign. I also mentioned his other character, which is Jeremiah. As you can see, he looks exactly like Diddy and 5 year foreign. I recommend you guys go watch that video if you haven't. The link to this video is in the description. I will make a separate video exposing all of his characters in one video because he's also Safari and Divine Shade talked about that in her video. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop a like, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow me on Instagram, and subscribe to my Patreon. The links are in the description below. And make sure you guys go buy some merch from my website. If you guys want to support me and Divine Sade, the link is in the description. Last thing I want to show you guys is a few zesty videos of Diddy. Because for some reason, this character has the most fruity videos out of every other rapper. And recently 50 Cent posted this weird picture of Diddy with his pants down. Thank you guys so much for watching. He might be a whole lot of fruity too. But Cassie would know that. Just like Kim knew that. Thanks, where you put my bag? I like yeah. when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, where you put my bag? Daddy, yeah, I like when you when you scrambling and scraping. No, 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 I got. I no like that. You know, I'll be practicing. I got. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Mr. Lee. We, yeah, I love this drink. Where you put my bag? I like when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, where you put my bag? Daddy, I like when you when you scrambling and scraping. When you when you scrambling and scraping. Look, Did you look back me? on where I became. Yeah. Did you miss me though? Mm. For real, because we, I'm I saying, miss, it seems like a thing. I it's miss his birthday with party, Puff, man. I man, but I'm talking about for your birthday. Huh? Why won't you party with me for your birthday, man? I'm, I, yeah, we we party for my birthday before. You came to my party. Mm. No, but me and you ain't never really party. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Eyes, eyes. Eyes, eyes, brother. Oh, eyes, 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 eyes. So check this out. It's <laughs> me, Tyrese. Ray J and Ooh. F. Gary Gray. You know, I'm a type of I like variety, man. I mm -hmm. like people that's unpredictable. Uh -huh. I, you know what I'm saying? I like different personalities. So I was like, I never knew they would become what they are today. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but like, you know, that, that sounded like the type of night I want to have in Vegas. You right. understand what I'm saying? Okay. So you being around Puffy, is there any truth to him being fruity? I, I don't know what you mean by really <laughs> Do I see this man being fruity? Is, is, is does a man like other men? I think he's brother love. He love other men. <laughs> he says things. He doesn't even know what he's saying is like fruity. He says something fabulous and he goes, "Yo, no, but me and you, we ain't party. Like we need to party." <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> when it's people say that to me, I get a little uncomfortable. <laughs> like, when you see you see Jay the kids put his head down, like, <laughs> why we we stuck here right now? And the cameras just roll. Everybody see. Don't make like it's just me, man. <laughs> what if he do some like, like a little fluffy stuff? Now you guys like he said he said something to me one time a long time ago. He told me he'd take me shopping. I looked at him like, what the f what the what you just say? <laughs> Let yeah. me move, man, before I do something. You're gonna make me mess up the way. Let That's me get out of no, dude, take me to <laughs> see what the guy <laughs> says to a girl. I asked 50 about that. He said you did the same thing to him, you asked him to take him shopping. Yeah, I thought he needed some clothes. What? I'm a nice guy. I don't have no beat. With Fifth, he loves me. Y'all can't man. see that he loves me. But see, you really hold on. You really think that's hate? You know he loves me. I don't think he likes you. You know he loves me. I don't think.